Hello everyone, um, today I just wanted to have a kind of sit down conversation um, just about what I've been seeing as a trend. I'm trying to find employment post graduation y'all, it's real. And just trying to reassert this not only to myself but to other creatives is to know your worth. Now, the reason I'm saying this is because I'm seeing a trend, which I'm not really liking. I don't know wherever you are in this world, if you're in Atlanta or if you're in New York. There is this trend that people are not valuing creative work as much as they should be, if that makes sense. And in this time, in this day and age, creative work, creativity really sets you apart, either for your business, for your Instagram, for your YouTube or whatever. It really sets you apart. So for people that don't put much value into it or you'll get experience it's really disrespectful uh, to say the least and I don't know why people are seeing this as a culture that is normative when it shouldn't be like some if somebody's creating a video for you or if somebody's doing graphic design or illustration that should be valued as much as somebody like doing your taxes or your accounting information because that still is creative work that is someone putting in their time their effort their own creative output to enrich your visualization or communication to your customers and that's a big feat that is a lot of work and for some people not to value that or have one person doing all the creative work which I've seen that is not okay because <laughs> you're not first of all you're assuming that one person is the master of everything which most creative people are not some some people are are more skilled in different skill sets than others some people are more specialized but to assume that and then put that load on a creative person and then being surprised that they can't deliver the same amount of you know work or the speed that you wanted that's not what they were trained in for so to have this conversation about why that is is one I really want to have with people and just understand or get or explain it to other people that you can't just write off creative work as nothing or assume that the creative labor is less than what needs to be paid for or or um, compensated for because without us you wouldn't have anything visual you wouldn't have posters movie posters you wouldn't have you know al album soundtracks storybooks all throughout even product packaging all throughout your life on 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 human earth on human earth all through your life on planet earth you've seen creativity all around you whether you notice it or not it is there and somebody somebody took the time to create each and every asset that is out there in this world so for some people and some businesses to just write that off and view it as less than or like hey it's an internship not you know not shooting that internships but when it comes to a point where there's a lot of list downs and a lot of creative work and i feel like at that point that's not an internship anymore you're getting free labor and that's not cool <laughs> especially if this person's really good and they really care about the work that they output they're not going to put out crap obviously but for people to take advantage of that i don't appreciate and i know a lot of creatives don't appreciate so this is just you know the pep talk is saying know your worth value your worth i'm kind of going through this situation right now where i'm at this time and space where i'm like i've been doing job hunting going to interviews you know and it just, just seems that I'm, I'm at an impasse there's two decisions i have to make i either want to work for someone that probably won't value the work as much as i do if they do it's great yes <laughs> and the very rare instance that they are also creative and they understand the struggles and we can bond over that and then there's this other instance where I'm like should I just make my own opportunity and just go for it and and figure out you know just doing it rather than waiting or applying or hoping that someone will see my potential that I already know I have that I already show y'all <laughs> what I do and just waiting for that big break or whatever which is not you know, I know it's not ideal, but I'm hopeful. So I'm kind of at that point where I'm just trying to decide what I want to do. And it sucks, it really sucks, especially not downplaying Atlanta, but it's a very tight knit, you know, community, which I love and I, I appreciate it, it's great. But when there's so much saturation of creativity, I feel like people take that for granted and they're like, oh, we can get another, you know, creative, I can do the same thing. But you should treat everyone equally 
with that has the same talent or if not above and give them the respect and do payment or commensurate that you know that talent with the appropriate pay scale <laughs> and that's why i'm kind of like if you're requesting like or have internships for like free creative work if there's either it's digital media planning or content creation for your for your business it's it's at a disservice because there's no guarantee that you will take that person on if you do all well and good the internship was worth it but most of the times people who learn internship awesome no pay but it should that you're not showing that there's true value in that person's work which is very very upsetting and i think there should be there should be changing of trend of this and so if I were in that position, if I was in a you know business position, this is what I would do. I'd be like, okay, if you want to be a videographer, you want to be an editor, here's what you will need to do, and you'll be paid based upon how well you accomplish these tasks, you know, or just pay them. <laughs> Honestly, and don't pay them the minimum wage, because no one can survive off that. But pay them, you know, not saying the starting rate of like a senior videographer or a senior video editor, but like of an apprentice like do we not have apprentice apprenticeships anymore especially for creative types i feel that would be more beneficial actually if that was more of a trend rather than internships because at least for apprenticeships it should be paid but it also you know is a guarantee that hey after you finish working you will be here not like uh oh, we'll see how you do afterwards like you, if you interview that person went through this whole process and you're like they are the one and then you're like eh, we might not have a position for them later on that's wasting their time and that's i hate wasting time if y'all know me if, if y'all near me i hate wasting time i absolutely hate it so anyway i could avoid that and just streamline the whole situation makes everything better <laughs> so just allowing that to happen and just allowing that space where creatives feel appreciated and that they're getting paid based on what they should be getting paid if they have you know if they show their talent they practice their craft or just or just giving them you know that extra just boost of like i believe in you and here's what i think you're worth so they'll be like, all right this is what i gotta work on giving them benchmarks like it could only get you so far so that's my little spiel about that just wanted to talk to y'all about what's been going through your mind and what i've been seeing <laughs> i don't know if, if you have like experienced the same thing please comment text me dm me or whatever It'll let me know that i'm not crazy <laughs> because i'm just this is just a trend I've been saying and it makes no sense because then at that point people have to make a decision do I want to eat or do I want to be a creative and that shouldn't clash with each other that shouldn't be a second thought if you love what you do there should be a way for people to realize that and notice your talent notice that you're worth it and give you the pay that you deserve but you gotta treat the people well that you want to, that are creating the creative assets that are getting viewers visually you have to treat them well or we're just gonna go so if you like this content or you want to keep this in um conversation going please uh, <laughs> please follow me on instagram Char charisma does underscore art and instagram you can find me here on youtube at charisma does yeah so follow me on youtube follow me on instagram and definitely comment down below what you think about this and what are you experiencing as creative or just as a business what's your side of the story and thank you for your time <laughs>